The Android SDK actually comprises many different components. You can check the status of them on your system by going to the menu from the welcome screen and choosing SDK Manager. There are three tabs here, the SDK Platforms, SDK Tools, and SDK Update Sites. SDK Platforms shows you which versions of the Android operating system have been installed. Each version of the operating system has a version number. Up until version 9, there was also a nickname, a sweet dessert, and there's an associated API level. As a software developer, it's critical to know your API levels. Android 10 is API level 29, 9 is 28, and so on. To see all of the components that have been installed, click on the option at the bottom right labeled Show Package Details. On my system for Android 10 or Android Q, I've installed the core SDK and the source code. And critically, I've installed something called a system image. The system image is used for virtual devices that you can run in the Android emulator. You can install them from here, but you can also install them later when you decide you want to create a virtual device. Under the SDK tools, you'll see a bunch of different components, some of them required and some optional. You'll need the Android SDK build tools, and again, you can click on Show Package Details and see all the versions that you might have installed. If you don't have a required version installed, don't worry about it. The first time you try to build or compile an application, Android Studio will let you know and will prompt you to download what you need. To uninstall a version, just click on the check mark and then click the Apply button and OK, and that version will be removed from your disk. Other components that are very important include the emulator, the platform tools, the tools, and the Intel Emulator Accelerator. And I'll talk about that in more detail in another video. For each of these components, if you see an offer to update it, I recommend accepting it. Always keep your SDK installation up to date to make sure that you've gotten the most recent bug fixes from Google. The SDK Update Sites tab can pretty much be ignored. It includes a listing of all those directories where Android Studio can check and then download new components. You might need to add something here at some point, but it's unlikely. The most important tabs in this screen are the SDK platforms for the various versions of Android and SDK tools for all of the other Android SDK components that you need.